Welcome back to the Mage playthrough, everybody. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Oh, you didn't ask? That's, a, that's rude. So, we're gonna fight uh, Ari Cthulhu real quick just because I have an extra one on me. So, why not just fight him really quick? Like I just said, I just said fight him real quick and I said it again. I don't know why. Yeah, let's fight him real quick. Just, let's fight. Let's fight. Let's fight him real quick. We're gonna fight a lot of bosses this episode. Bosses that I feel like aren't exactly the main bosses I fight in the series, even though I do fight pretty much all of the ones that we're about to fight uh, in every modded series I've done so far, except for the multiplayer thing. But the multiplayer series isn't exactly something I can do. And just so you know, whenever I post this, hopefully there's a new multiplayer series. Uh, the reason why we didn't continue multiplayer series is because we broke the world a couple times and then multiplayer is extremely buggy. That's the reason if you guys ever see this episode before a new multiplayer comes out, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. So let's head on over here because I gotta store some stuff. Not only that, but there was a quick crisis that happened. And it scared me, but smart me, I was able to fix it on time. Good job, gamers. Thanks. Uh, I accidentally loaded up the world while uh, Urgent and Tremor were not enabled. I don't know why they were disabled. They just were, and kind of scared me. But no problem. Hold up. I do want to test something with that. I'm going to test something with that. But until then, there was something I was about to do. Sell this Zephyr. We don't need two Zephyrs. They don't really combine to make anything. Sadly, I feel like they should. But items like this that are fairly like low tier items, as I would say. I guess, low tier items. Because they wouldn't be as good as future items you can get. Even in pre-hard mode. And of course, in hard mode, you get way better accessories and stuff. They should be able to be combine, combined, combined with stuff. It's my opinion. Make them more useful. Let's... What else can we sell? But yeah... I don't know when this will be uploaded. We are playing with updated textures and stuff from 1.3.1. Uh, this is the second video I'm recording, 1.3.1. Something I noticed right here. Look, that's updated texture. That's, that's cool. But, uh, how y'all doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Didn't I say that already? Let's go ahead. Let's pick up this star. I left my star in a bottle. So we got stars. I left my star in a bottle over here. I might need to go grab that. But yeah, we're going to fight the Tiki boss. And we're going to fight Rook. How do you fight Rook again? I don't remember. We need a Ruby or something? I'm gonna go get a Ruby real quick. Should have Rubies, right? Yeah. Ooh, look at these. These are beautiful. Nice and beautiful. I don't know if I like them better than the other ones, but hey, they're not bad at all. I'll say that. They are decent looking, to say the least. So let's look for... Where is it? We already fought a giant slime. We did that in the last episode, I believe. Where the hell is that? Is that a crown? crown right yeah boom we got a crown now we need antline mandibles which is a potion accessory really shouldn't have put the potion place this far uh, maybe I'll change this in the future because this is kind of far that or I can just start okay let's do this let's do this let's split stuff like this and we'll bring stuff like this to the other chest that, that would be the smart thing to do here. Just so I don't have to keep on running back and forth. I really need to make a bed. I feel like it's something I really need to do. It's just getting kind of annoying. I have to like ride back to over here every time. But yeah. We should... I don't think we're going to get anything useful from the Tiki boss. Definitely. Rook, I don't remember what he drops. Feather? He drops a feather? Doesn't that give you like fall time? I don't know. But there's a couple things we need to get done. Oh, they updated the coin texture too. Just notice that. Uh, jungle hat. I've been able to make that jungle hat for a while. Where do we make the roof stuff? Let me ask him. I'm guessing we make it at uh, Demon Altar. I'm just an anvil. Oh, we need sand. Do I have a chest that I put just blocks in? I feel like I don't have a chest where I do that. I don't have a chest where I do that. Just, yeah, there needs to be some changes here and there with things. But uh, very simple changes. Don't have sand in here either. What the? What the? Oh, that's not the right kind of sand. Get that star. Okay. I don't want to mess up this place. I don't want to mess up how the terrain looks right now. So I'll go over here and get the sand. There's another star right there. Really should pick up all the stars. Hello? 
How you doing, sir? I, I want the star. How you doing, eyeball? I want the star. All right, we got the star. I'll I'll make this. I'll I'll set up everything and I'll be right back. Okay, so we will fight the Tiki Totem later when nighttime actually comes around. I will craft that stuff later. But now we will fight Rook. But I'm gonna make some life cord stuff. I really wanted to make this stuff. This stuff looks like it can be extremely useful. And that's why I'm making it. So it's two per. Bada bang. Uh, ooh, this is also material. Fueled with life giving properties, grants bonus life regeneration, maximum life, one minute duration. So it does give you max, not max life. Um, well, it does, I guess. And it also, ooh, and there's a hard mode version. It's nice. Voision. There's a hard mode voision. Uh, it gives you, what is it? Life regen and 80 health. So that's pretty cool. I like it. What is, what is this? I don't know what mod allows me to do this. It's annoying, though. If I hold right click, I can, like, look everywhere. Okay, hold up. Let's think. What do we need? No, we're fine. Oh, shit. We didn't get a, get a spawn message. <laughs> I was hoping for a spawn message. Ow, dude. He kind of hurts. High key, he hurts. Haiku. You guys ever write a haiku when you were younger? What the hell? Um, I can't really hit him. He's like way up in the sky. I can't hit him with my sword, that is. Hey, how you doing, Root? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna need to use anything against this, man. Huh. Still waiting for Tremor to have, like, more consistent updates. It has to be anytime soon, I hope. Because, uh, that boss didn't really give us a spawn message. Kind of just was there. And, uh, he didn't really fly in or anything. He was just there. I think that's all the Tremor mod... Uh, tra tra Twemmer mod bosses. They just appear. Just, like, appear out of nowhere instead of, like, coming in from the side or something. That's what Terraria usually does. They bring in enemies from the side. They're like, whoa, we're here. Look at that. All right, let's put... Wait, what are sandstone bars used for? Is this a throwing set, too? I don't remember. This is indeed a fucking movement set why would you ever use a movement set is the real question okay that was nice and easy i will i will accept that so i set my spawn here i had to move the bookcase and loom and i need to make this crafting area bigger because this is not gonna that's not gonna work that, that's way too small for me to use wait what is the key what is the key for mana q no let's heal can I make an F? That's grapple. Someone just sent me a message? What the hell? No one does that. Okay. That's someone sent me a lot of messages. Mana, J. That's so far away on my keyboard. Can I use G? What about C? C isn't used for anything. Boom, bada, bing. C. Holy fuck. Why is my phone? Hold up. Okay, so nighttime is coming upon us. I'm trying to get a mount right now. So I'm trying to build a house here, but this is invalid, apparently. I guess it's the walls. Pretty sure it's the walls. But yeah, I want to make a house for my boy. It, boy being the dude who sells the antlion mount. Desert Traveler? Is that the Desert Traveler or is that Thorium that has the Desert Travel? Does the Desert Traveler from Thorium sell the mount? <laughs> no. Yes? I don't know. I think the antlion's from Tremor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from Tremor. Let's just try and fill in these walls here. No, there's already a natural design here, so I'll just cut it off right here. And then down there, I'll fill that in with, like, a base wall. How about that? Base wall. That sounds like a baseball. I'll give it a baseball pattern. I'll make it red and white. How about that? Sounds good. Shit, I need more sandstone. I converted all my sandstone into this. Yeah, making use out of this sandstone furniture. We're trying to open up my, uh building prowess and my building prowess in terraria is kind of decent but when it comes to using different blocks it's, it's okay it's okay or is it or it's the only time you just doing that yeah it's nighttime i don't know why i'm doing it let's head back to the home the beautiful home and let's head out take on the tiki totem where is the angler is he finally back in his house he fell down into here he was down here the whole time I couldn't find him. I need to make my house my house what? I need to make my mouse highlighted is what I need to do. Is there anything that I really need from this? Just a real question. Yo, I can make a rage potion. I'll just make an endurance potion. I would just make that, that seems like all I need. 
I want to use these lesser life waters. These things look cool. They look really cool. And I can't wait. I can't wait to get a use out of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yo. Bye-bye, yo. That's a noisy bit. Do I have max mana? I feel like I do. Oh. Or if I didn't, I do now. Right? I don't know. You can use mana stars to craft a bunch of things, so... I'm going to be surprised if I didn't have max. Alright, really quickly. Let's create a miniature arena. That will be helpful. Just having any sort of room to run on. And we constantly run on without having to worry. So we will take the resources given to us. And we shall craft! There's so many enemies right now. Fuck off. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is probably the strongest weapon I have. Is this uh, not the pedal one. Pedal one does hit really hard though. But the jungle wrath. It's just DPS. The DPS from it is so constant. So it makes it so good. Just make this go all the way across. Um, assholes. Ow. Stop it. Let's just fight this dude already, can we? Oh shit, he just dropped from this guy. <laughs> Don't die that quickly, come on now. I'll use this because I never use this. Yeah, how you like this? Let me pop that endurance. Let me endure you, okay? I'm out of mana. I'm out of mana. I'm out of mana. I have mana. I have mana again. It's over. I like how, I like this the concept of this boss. He's just not hard. I mean, the first time I fought him ever, he was kind of hard. Oh shit, look, he's dead. Check this out. Check that out. Poison on deck. I wish these guys actually did something too. I can't wait for the trim roll day though. I mean, it's taking a really long time, but once it does come out, it should be probably one of the best mod updates in a while. But there might be mods that pass it, because right now I see Tremor as second, mm, I don't know. Ties for second best mod out right now. I'm not trying to offend any other mod creators. But uh, definitely my list would go Thorium for mods that are out right now. Thorium and then Urgent and Tremor tying time, time in together. Urgent updates a good bit. And Tremor, well, Tremor is Tremor right now. It's in the development stage. But, uh, you know, the end of the year, end of the school year is coming. That means uh, hopefully a lot of the mod developers, if they're in school, or yep, if they're in school, they'll definitely have a lot more time to be working on mods and stuff, working on their mods. And with 1.3.1 out, it should be, I don't know, I think, is it 1.3.1 or something very soon supposed to be like supporting modding? I don't know. I heard that a while ago that there was going to be like mod support, but I don't think that was a legitimate thing. I heard it on the internet. You can never trust the internet, am I right? So you guys should go donate to my Patreon. Alright, so really quickly, I'm about to do something I probably would never do ever on camera. But, you know, might as well do it because we pretty much accomplished the goals wanted to be accomplished this episode. All I want now for the rest of this episode is to get the uh, Desert Traveler or whatever the one from Tremor is called. I want him to come in. And all I gotta do is make his house. But yeah, this right here, the Breathing Reed, I barely use this efficiently, if ever. And it says increases uh, breath, breathe time, breath time, and allows breathing in water. So, does that mean just having it and not actually being, you know, above water or having the stick above water like that? Does that mean, like, if I just have it underwater, stick is not, the stick is submerged, I'll still get more breathing time? I don't know, let's see. So let's count this down. One, two... Three. So about three and the first bubble goes away. So if I go underwater and equip this, hold up. One, two, three, four. Okay, so around four or five, because I did start counting late there on accident. That that's actually cool. That it does give you more breathing underwater. I did not ever know that. I thought it only meant that it'd give you more breath if you had it like this the whole time. But now that I know that it's actually kind of a little bit more useful than I thought it was. You know what's weird? They made Medusa a hard mode. A hard, not a hard mode. Is it hard mode? Or is it hard? I think it's hard mode. But Medusa's a hard mode. Uh, hard mode enemy. That's something really weird. You just can't get her, get her a weapon until hard mode. What is this biome? What the heck? I never noticed this. This is like a split biome here. 
half marble, half uh, granite. That's cool. I like this. I've already been here though. I don't like that. Be right back when I get the dude to spawn in. It rattles my goo. Huh, this is something really interesting we can do. We can actually turn the regular cloud in a bottle to sandstorm in a bottle or blizzard in a bottle. I feel like I should do that right now. That seems like a good, a good, great idea. How about that? Alright, let me get some nice easy sand here. But yeah, I found the this guy underground. There he is. Look at him. Hello, and then my boy. I don't know what he's doing. The the Arabian merchant movement. Thank God. Did I kill Thunderbird? Yeah, I did kill Thunderbird. So the other dude could have moved in too if he wanted to. But let's drop down here. Get some sand. Was it 25? 3, 10, 4, 25. I'm about to bang. Oh shit! What is happening? Why did I have so much trouble flying? Let's go ahead. There you go. Let's capture these bunnies. Make some extra cash. That would be nice to have some extra cash. All right, and then let's head back. I don't know why I walked. I didn't have to. Let's head back over here and make explosive bunnies. No, let's make sandstorm in a bottle. Arcane. That's actually good. Look at that. I got an extra little mana thing. Holy hell. Don't, 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 okay, we're fine. I need to find Sky Islands, too, but, yeah, boom, bada, bing, I think we are set to go here, and that will end off this episode. What else are you guys used as? Oh, that's all? What about this? What, what does this get combined with? Just a regular balloon. All right, so, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, we will, I'll find something to do. There's probably some bosses we haven't fought. Queen Bee, have we fought the Queen Bee? I don't think we have. We gotta fight the Queen Bee next. But I'll see y'all next time. My dick is hard!